Hey Paul, this is what I forgot in the previous video. One of the key elements of butterfly angle and fitting is the butterfly is got to just barely cover these progression ports right here. So you notice when it opens up, you see they got this port right here. And you see how the butterfly just barely covers it when there's no when the uh, when the idle screw is completely backed off. You can see it covers it. So when we when I screw in the throttle the uh, idle screw here, okay, I'm gonna screw it in the base turn a uh, base of one and a half turns all right there's half 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 and you can see the just starts to open up and uncover that bypass that's very critical because if the butterfly is in the wrong position, it's not going to um, work. The, car the carburetor is not going to work. You're not going to get the transition from idle to um, running. And here's another example. And again, this one's closed as well. See if you can see better in there like that. See, I just barely cracked the throttle, and there's that transition port opening up right down there. And that's also part of the angle of the, the uh, butterfly. So that's something else that it needs to be looked at in terms of the throttle not closing all the way. And the butterfly's angle, this 13 to 17 degree here, hitting the, the inside of the barrel. Uh, you're mentioning the, uh, the butterfly being too big. No, I don't think that's an issue as long as it's got the right angle on the um, edge of the butterfly. Hope that helps a little bit.